Hello, you're watching Got Space Game, and it's time for DCS and Real Life. Today we're in the Hornet, showing how to fire the Walleye 2 TV guided bomb on a pre planned target using the data link for final steering. As always, useful control bindings will be on screen at the end of the video. Air to ground mode, check Master Arm on. Select Weddle on the stores page for the Walleye. Select DL13 to bring up the data link. Select Weapon and then the top Weddle entry to come out of primary station mode. That's essential for using the data link. If the screen shows static, use the UFC to tune the correct channel. Channel should match the station number, which is either 2 or 8. You're now looking through the Walleye camera and the feed will be retained as the weapon is launched. Soy and uncage the Walleye. On the right hand screen, bring up the HSI and designate the target waypoint. Then, if you're carrying one, you can bring up the targeting pod. You can use this to refine your target designation, or, just as we're going to, to observe the impact. Set your field of view and adjust brightness and contrast. I'm going to move the DL13 display to the bottom screen, so I find it a bit easier to see in black and white. Bring up the HUD on the left display to help with steering the aircraft with your head down in the cockpit. Symbology is very simple. All I camera pointing is given by the target pipper on the HUD and the white square on the data link display. You're ready to drop the bomb when time to minimum range is replaced by an in-range indication. Press and hold weapons release to pickle. The aircraft will go out of balance at this point so use lots of trim, use the HUD repeater display to steer, and put on the autopilot as soon as you're able. For the next shot, I'll show you how to steer the walleye en route. Use weapon on the data link display to select the other walleye. Your data link channel should already be correct. Uncage the seeker head, and the weapon will flew to the designated target, which we haven't changed. Turn to the target, level out, and adjust your trim as necessary. The pipper and the white square will show you the way. You'll find the plane quite hard to control with just one walleye equipped. You certainly want to be rid of it by the time you go back to the carrier. I'm going to try lofting my next shot. Pitch up. You will see the bomb go into the clouds above me, but it should come out face of the target roughly. Coming in range, pickle. Keep flying the plane and don't forget to re-trim. To retarget the walleye mid-flight, hold down TDC to press while slewing the camera with the TDC. The camera will attempt to get a contrast lock where you aim it. Try to keep your correction small to avoid bleeding energy. Once you've got a good lock, you can turn away and you don't really need to pay attention to the bomb anymore. So long as the TGP isn't masked, you can use it to observe the impact. I've been Dan and you've been watching DCS and 3LS from Got Space Game. Huge thanks to all my Kofi supporters, and if you found this useful, please subscribe for more 3-minute tutorials on all of your favourite DCS modules. 